Hello there everybody, I am Mr. Willsworth and welcome back to the Huntsman, the Orphanage. Now as I was saying before, it says on the paper behind here, it says enter the maze and find the place, I'm guessing it says at the top. It says, place the item, items up on each orphan, and probably a head after that, and you will set them free. So, I was right in, you know, saying that we need to collect the items and find where the bodies are. So the bodies are hidden. Okay, so... Let's go down into the basement. Now we're looking forward to this bit. Can I turn that on? No. Damn. It's like a freaking maze down here. Oh god. Fuck! Okay, there's more rooms. Did... These rooms belong to people? Shit. Fucking hell. That scared the crap out of me. Sorry, guys. Okay. Holy balls. This game has left me hanging that long and I think when something does happen I am going to actually wee a little bit. Holy crap. What's this? F you. Why was this dialogue? There's nothing in here. Okay, I'm not finding any pictures or anything. The only thing down here was a wooden block. Which obviously belongs to the... What was his name? Tom Tom? Jojo? John John, that was his name. Okay, who are you, Rupert? Tink, tonk, tink. What's in the box? Tink, tonk, in sea wind, sea spy. Tink, tonk, tink, Holy crap. The water spell. He must be the crazy guy. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Help me. For he holds me tighter than the others. So, that must have been the, you know, the rotten apple core kid. And the huntsman must be the spirit who maybe used his insanity to his advantage. I don't know. The story has not fully revealed itself to me yet. All I know is that every single one of their bodies needs the item its soul is attached to. Okay, that's where it came in. Okay, the tick tacking and the breathing is definitely getting a lot louder. Could you breathe somewhere else, please? What's in I don't know. Do you mean this box? In sea wind, 
So this must be Rupert's box. Holy balls. Holy crap. Look at all these pictures. Many mean well, but alas, cannot always be trusted. For this pitiless blackness casts strange shadows on the soul. So, can I listen to each one of their stories again down here? Kareem Harvin, it was not my choice. And this was not the cause I would set for my life. Nor the story I would have written had I held a pen. But, alas, I'm not the writer. Merely the final chapter of a tale written generations before. Of famine fishermen, navigators, gold diggers and dead. A story which ends with myself, Edward. Fifteen years old and far from a Norwegian homeland. Penniless and stranded. Like a sea trout in a net. Entangled by a force of which I have no understanding. For the one who casts this net reeks of horror, of fear, and sinks my stomach to the floor whenever I hear his approach. It is like being in a hypnotist trance, for I can think of no happy thoughts to buoy my spirit. But Only both. Overcome by the ceaseless ticking of his timepieces. So that is him that I could hear. Of all descriptions. In this place between the realms of darkness, there is no learning, no beauty, no art, except whatever thoughts and images I can conjure in my mind. For okay. art has always been my release. It seems my yearning for peace and quiet within the orphanage was, so that I may sit and draw unhindered. This is a bit with her upstairs. By God, with no mean measure of annoyance. So, in his wisdom, he placed me here, within the nothing world. Perhaps this is penance. Perhaps I am paying for the sins of my forebears, for the are wakings in my line, and through lineage, blood on my hands. Am I a sacrificial child, upon whose shoulders God has placed the sins of the fathers? I feel as one does on a summer's day, when as a small child, one would stand in the center of a grassy meadow and arms outstretched spin around and around and around. Can't remember finding her face. Until finally one would stop. Oh, her. oh that's a ribbon. Spin on and on, no, as if riding a nightmarish carousel. Except in this dream, it is not summer. The sky that is grey and threatening above. As the wind flays my body, and all about me spins, I am standing on a hillock and observing a figure wave their arms and call to me from the next rise. And though I cannot hear a sound, I know they are begging me for help. Yet I can move not the muscle to assist them. I am powerless. A silent scream of despair caught in my throat rendering me wide-eyed and gasping like the sea trout in the net so we sailed for america my brother sven with jaw set in grim determination holy crap these guys have got long stories so the he he said a partial piece that we heard exactly the same upstairs so Every single one of these pictures will have the full story behind them. But um, I don't think we really have time to listen to them all. So we will carry on. If you do want to hear everybody's story, then please drop me a comment in the comment section. As for now, we have to proceed closer to the breathing.
I can hear him, but I cannot see him. Well, that's the girl's jingle ball. So the noise is him, however, he's not showing himself. Okay, why are all these doors locked? That's got me curious. I'm checking the, the screen on the phone as well to see if, you know, he shows his face, but I can only see him on the camera. That was his door, wasn't it? Shut again. Well, not his door, but his door where the breathing and the ticking's coming from. What's in the box? Nothing. Okay, nothing again. Oh my god. One minute, stay away from me, zombie. Mm -mm. Don't you dare jump out. I will scream like a big girl. Shh. I can hear him. Be still. I ain't freaking moving. Crap! Which way am I supposed to go? I've been here, I'm panicking. I've been here before. There we go. Shit! Shush! I need to go out. I need to leave. I need to go out. Go through the maze. I need to find these bodies. Ah! There's your picture. Let me hear your story. Well, part of it anyway. They were gone. The children, like melted snow. Only their shadows remained in the schoolroom, the dining hall. But Gloria. Bring me my dolly! Holy balls. Chill the F out, girl. You cut the lady off I was talking and listening to. Sorry, girl. My baby is still there at him heaven, sleeping, hidden and safe from prying eyes. And Holy I took balls. measures, special secretive measures, to ensure that she would not be taken, not ever. Okay. So, let's go find these goddamn bodies that are buried beyond the maze. I don't think we figured out all their stories from down there. What? What? You got a problem, Joe? I'll kick your ass. <laughs> don't scare me, please. Okay. Now, I am not hearing things. I can hear ticking and footsteps. I just hope I don't get lost. 
Holy balls. Connor, you son of a bitch. That's definitely him. It's a dead end, thank God. What's this? The footsteps are moving. I found a tree. Holy fuck. Oh, I don't care about doors. I'm not near any doors. All I care about is finding these bloody gravestones. I haven't got a clue where to go. <laughs> Sorry. Games like this are definitely the future. Oh crap. Definitely the future of horror games. Oh, whose headstone is this? Dorothy. False. So the headstones are actually buried in the maze. So what's going to happen when I release a spirit? Right now I'm looking for Rupert. I've got his box. As long as I can't hear the ticking footsteps or breathing, I'll be fine. Okay, in my opinion it's a bad idea to hide the gravestones in the maze. It would have been better to have a graveyard after the maze kind of thing. And you hunt for each particular grave while this creepy ass song bitch is chasing you at it. I know it's not very bad pun to use but I am so scared that all this is going to lead to a dead end. That's Charlie. Is this Charlie's box? Is this Charlie's box? Is it Rupert's box? Was it Rupert or was it Charlie? I can't remember. I've come so far. Alas, Cobber. No, that is not my dicky. Oh. Is that? Sounded like his. The fuck? Sounded like his ghost is scratching at the soil, trying to get out. So it's definitely real, but I'm looking for not Charlie. Okay, just as long as I know. That's John John. Hello, John John. Um. Your place led to a dead end, John John. You bugger. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's spin through all this. If I can remember the way. I can't really, I'm just kind of winging it. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Oh fuck. You see some. Weird shapes when you're at this level of anxiety and you're in a foreign place. Your mind plays tricks on you. I don't know if he's actually stalking me or. If he is, I may be in trouble. I went towards the sound though, didn't I? Yes, to get to the tree. Holy balls. Why did I have to make this so confusing? I 
I don't know if, if that noise is a thing though. Or it's just... Freaking hell. Ambient noise put there to scare you. Holy balls. Why did the greys have to be in a maze? Developer douches. <laughs> oh crap. I really, really don't want to complete this now. I just want to <laughs> leave it. Because it is that spooky. It's a, look like a hand. Another dead end. Terrible pun. Going on the game and our destinations. Oh, I've got something in my eye. Mm. Get out of my eye, Lash. Okay. I'm getting further away from the ticking, so I'm fine. I'll keep on kicking, I guess. What the? Why don't you come around in one big ass circle? Sure as hell feels like it. Damn it. What in the actual hell is going on? Edvard? He wants the picture from the toilet to the screamer because he wasn't about art. Damn it. This is freaking stupid. Why am I not? I have no map. No ability of drawing a map. I've been, never been this way. Hurry up. That's where you discovered you've gone around a circle of got to it. What a douche. I'm looking for passageways I could have possibly missed. The fuck, I thought that was a face. Damn. This game is playing tricks on my mind. Okay, this episode has gone on long enough, guys. I'm going to end it here. This is one hell of a spook fest. Now, though we know what we've got to do, it's just a case of getting it done. And uh, finding all the graves and remembering where all the graves are. And then taking, and taking their items to them. So, if you liked the video, please click the like button. If you're not a subscriber and you would love to be, just click the subscribe button and sharing the love of the channel and the love of everybody that comes here. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Much love and peace out. Oh my god! You fat what the hell? Oh sheesh! Where the hell did he come from?